Hi everyone and welcome to Mechanics of Music. My name is Caitlin and we are here together on our first 30 lessons on the ukulele. Today, I guess this is what you call music theory, but do not be scared because we're not going to go too crazy and music theory is one of those things where I'm going to talk about it a little bit and then you're going to listen and you might say, oh that kind of makes sense and then later you might say, wait, what? And then it might make no sense whatsoever. And then a few days from now, you might say, oh, that's what it means. I love seeing that light bulb going off in students' eyes. And I want you guys to let me know if anything that I say in this video helps clear anything up that you may have heard before or later down the road when you have your light bulb moment. I just love to hear those stories. It's so fun. So today we're talking about the musical alphabet and the notes on the ukulele fretboard. So grab your uke, make sure that it's in tune, and let's go. So the musical alphabet. The musical alphabet has only seven letters. That's the first seven letters of our English alphabet. We have A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. After G, we repeat and we go back to A. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now, you've heard about these mystical things called sharps and flats, and we are gonna learn what they do. So we have our seven letters of the musical alphabet, and now we need to start adding in those sharps and flats. And they go in between the letters that we already know exist. So in total, we have 12 notes. So we have A, A sharp, B, and then there's nothing between B and C. You can remember that because I live in BC, British Columbia. So then we have C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. Once again, there's nothing between E and F. And I thought I could come up with something better, but the best I have is something that one of my seven-year-old students said once, and she says, oh, I don't remember that because nobody likes elephant farts. And I said, well, that's true. I don't think anyone does like elephant farts. So please let me know if there's a better way you remember why there's no sharp or flat between E and F. So anyways, um, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, and it continues. Now, how does this apply to the ukulele? Because if you've learned music on any other instrument, like the piano, or maybe the recorder, or flute, or saxophone, or anything, you've learned the musical alphabet, and the same stuff is happening on the ukulele fretboard. The piano is a really good instrument to understand music theory and the musical alphabet because it's so black and white, and it's so linear. So if we look at a piano just for a second, all the white notes are what we call our natural notes. Those are the A, B, C, D, E, F, G. All those notes in between, you can see they're kind of in between the two white notes here. Those are your sharps and your flats. So I like to think about sharps when I'm going up. So I have A, if I go up a little higher, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp. Flats, on the other hand, I like to think about going down with flats. So I would have, let's start at A, A flat, G, G flat, F, E, E flat, D, D flat, C, B, B flat, A. Now, how on earth does that apply to the ukulele fretboard? The strings we already know have letter names. We have our G string, we have our C string, E, and A. Now, those are just notes out of the musical alphabet. So our G string is right here on the piano, and if I push down a piano key, it's going to sound the same. So that's a G. Now, if I go up fret by fret, I'm going to actually go up the musical alphabet, note by note. So this is a G. If I go to the first fret and I push down, you can hear the note got a little higher. We're going to go up, 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 up. So this is G, G sharp, A. What's the next one after A going to be? A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, 
F, F sharp, and G. Now we've repeated all the way back to our original note, which was G. So going through all those seven notes, and in this case we've gone through, I guess, eight, because we went back to the first one that's called an octave. Eight notes octave. And we can do the same thing on all of our strings. So let's go through the next string together and see if you can go up the musical alphabet with me. Starting on C string, C. Next one, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, back to C. So the 12th fret is where everything repeats, and on every string it's the same, it always repeats. If this is the G string, this is also going to be a G. And that's one of our quick tips for starting to memorize all the notes on our ukulele fretboard. So let's go to the next string, which is good cat eat, E string. After E, remember, it goes straight to F. F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, back to E. Awesome, last string. This is our A string. Now we have A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A again. So that's a lot. That's 12 different notes that I'm just telling you, yeah, you have to memorize your ukulele fretboard. Well, no, you don't really have to just memorize it. As you start to learn tabs and learn to read notes and start to recognize these notes, you'll start to say, oh, my C chord, this note here on the third fret, that's a C. And that's where I push my finger for the C chord. Now, here's a question I get a lot. If this is the C string, and you're also telling me that the third fret of the A string is a C, how come they're both C? And the answer is because it's an octave. Again, it's the same as this C going all the way up to here. I have a lot of different C notes on my ukulele. These are all the C's. And so they're the same, but they're different. So just sit on that one for a bit. Now here's the thing that's cool, is that all instruments in our Western world are all playing notes from this musical alphabet, whether it's a bass guitar or it's all the way up to a piccolo. Those are very different instruments if you think about them. The bass guitar plays really, really low notes and the piccolo is very high. Even the notes that we sing, all those notes are coming from our musical alphabet. The piano, the guitar, the saxophone, the trumpet, trombone, clarinet, all those instruments are playing notes from the musical alphabet. Now they all sound a little different because all instruments are different. Some instruments are with a string, some instruments are made with a reed that vibrates, um, anyway, we won't go into all the instrument dynamic and everything. So the musical alphabet is very big, and the ukulele takes up a very small section of the musical alphabet. And our lowest note is our C, unless we put on our low G string, which we'll talk about another time. So that's our lowest note that we have, C. And if we look at a piano, that's right in the middle, that's called middle C on the piano. So the piano has a lot more low notes that we can't play on our ukulele. And our highest note, I guess, is all the way up here on the highest fret, which is E. High E. I can't say that I've often played this note on the ukulele. It's not a very useful sound, but it's there. So now, how can you start to understand what this means? 
What I would do is I would start with just the first couple frets. We don't really need to know what note is on the 18th fret of the C string. It's just not a really useful piece of information for us right now. So just start with um, the natural notes on your open strings. So we're going to just only care about A, B, C, D, E, F, G. We don't really care about the sharps and the flats for now, okay? Just know that they exist, but know that we don't really care about them. So our C, that's a C string, that's a C note. If we go up to the second fret, there's a D. Now E is our E string. F is the first fret. G, third fret. Then we go to our A string. Let's go to the second fret of the A string, that's a B. And the third fret of our A string is a C. So let's go again. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, e, C. You might think that sounds familiar. That's our C major scale. So I would start with those seven notes and memorize them. If I say, okay, play me an E, you should be able to quickly go to your E string because you know that's an E. If I say play me an A, you can play your A string. If I say play a C, you have two choices. You know that there's a C here or a C on your C string. They sound different, but they also kind of sound the same and they sound really good together. So start with those, and then what you can start to do to understand this is in your chords. So now that I know my F note is here on the first fret, that's actually where my finger goes for my F chord. So my F chord is like that, and this is my F note. And now we'll start to understand chords as we go. That'll be all we say for today. I have a tendency to go a little overboard on the theory because it's just so cool, so interesting. Let's think about our C chord again. So our C chord is like this, third finger, third fret, and that is a C note. There's also a C here. So when we strum our C chord, we're playing a C and a C. What about our G chord? Let's play a G, and this that fret, third fret of the E string, that's a G, and that's right in our G chord. We also have our G string. Those are actually identical, the same note. How about our A minor chord? Second finger, second fret of the G string, that's an A note. We have an A there and an A on our A string. Again, those are the exact same note. So that's just a brief little introduction to the musical alphabet. Just know that it exists. To be honest, you don't need to understand it to play the ukulele and to have fun. So if it's too complicated, don't even worry about it. Just forget I said anything. Forget you ever watched this video. Clear your cookies, clear your browser history. Otherwise, maybe you say, well, that was interesting. I don't really get it, though. And that's totally fine. I can't tell you how many times I have explained this over and over to people, and maybe the fourth time they say, oh, and it just clicks in, and they have this awesome light bulb moment. I really hope you guys have those moments, and I hope you get curious about music. And that is the fun part, especially for me as a teacher, when you guys start to ask questions, and when you start to notice things, and you say, wait, but why is that like that? and leave a comment if you have specific questions or if there's something that's been bugging you, maybe I can help. That's our intro to the musical alphabet. Just have fun with it, play around with it, you know, try to understand it if you want or forget all about it. Anyways, just keep having fun and I will see you guys in the next video. Okay.